taxis and travellers have been part of London life for centuries. But over the last 15 years, the number of authorised sites reserved for them has been significantly reduced, leaving the travelling community with a serious shortage of places to live. A report recognised the need for extra pitches, but gypsies and travellers claim that Mayor Boris Johnson, despite initial promises, appears to have washed his hands of the whole issue. And these travelling communities are not prepared to give up their ancient traditions without a fight, as Joe Good has been finding out. For the past five years, Tracy has been campaigning alongside fellow gypsies and travellers to save her traditional way of life. Yes, I'm a traveller and I live in Newham and my family have been in Newham for over 100 years, so gypsies and travellers have always been here. Yeah. So we want sites and we want them now. Yeah. There's an estimated 30,000 gypsies and travellers living in London. They make up a significant part of the capital's population. Yet over the past decade, there's been a gradual decline in pitches available to travellers on authorised sites, such as this one. I went to visit Romany Gypsy, Tracy Giles, on her site in Newham. Wow. And um, here is my hidden treasures. <laughs> this is a real treasure trove. It's completely mobile and it does have wheels on it underneath. <laughs> Tracy's trailer, with all its mod cons, is a far cry from how gypsies used to live. So this is the master bedroom. This is my bedroom, yeah. And you've got patio doors. Yes. And yes. decking. And decking, yes. And you've got a television there for in the, uh, my TV, in yeah. the bath. Yeah. Your parents would never have had a home like this. We didn't have things like bathrooms. We didn't have things like bedrooms. We didn't have running water. We had electricity, but it was of a certain time of the day. We had generators. <laughs> Like many of London's gypsies and travellers, Tracy and her family have decided to settle on a site. Hello, Mum. Up until 1994, local authorities had a legal duty to provide pitches, but that's no longer the case. My children won't stand a chance of being able to live, you know, on a site with, you know, surrounded by their immediate family because um, over the last 15 years, there's been no new sites built in London. So that means that they will have to go into housing, which they don't want and we don't want. So for you, what would it be like having to live in a house? If I think if I was forced into house, oh God, that would be one of my biggest fears and nightmares. I mean, you know, I'd probably get very depressed and feel very cut off and very isolated. In, and I know that's what happens to a lot of people that are forced into housing when you're used to living that sort of open outdoor lifestyle and surrounded by, you know, family. Come on then, Violet. Come on then. Irish traveller Helena is on holiday from university and is helping to look after her niece. I've grown up mostly in a house all of my life. We, there was never an option to move into any um, site and we weren't able to you know, fully, fully appreciate our culture and our community and what, what it means to actually be a traveller. Helena is among a growing trend of young travellers who can't live on a site because there aren't any available. Right now it just means our children are growing up um, not knowing about their lifestyle and not knowing about their culture. I look at my two younger brothers growing up and they're not like travellers. They're really not. They're, Why? They're just different. They're like settled people. They talk like settled people. They just act completely different. In 2009, Mayor Boris Johnson published the first draft of this, the London Plan. It's the document that decides how planning will work in the capital over the next 20 years. It recognised the need for more pitches for gypsies and travellers. He said he was going to build 800, just over 800 pitches for the Gypsy and Travellers community. And that got cut down to just over 500. It then got cut down to over 200 and then he completely took it out. Helena, together with the London Gypsy and Traveller unit, decided to take action. After all the hard work that was done, we were disappointed that we were taken from the London plan and we, this was the day that we were supposed to be um, listened to. We contacted Boris Johnson to ask him why he'd removed targets from the London plan. In a statement, we were told... What is really important is making sure that the needs of gypsies and travellers are identified and met. The mayor is no longer required to set targets by national government and has come to the conclusion that they are more likely to serve as a distraction from the real issues than to encourage new provision. Removing the targets from the London plan means that the building of traveller sites will be up to individual local authorities. It's something that Mark Willers, a barrister who represents travellers, 
is particularly concerned about. History tells us that in fact when local authorities are left to their own devices, uh, they uh, very rarely provide uh, sufficient pitches to meet the needs of gypsies and travellers in their area. And my fear is that without targets being set by Boris Johnson in the case of London, local authorities will revert to type and, and will simply uh, ignore the uh, needs of gypsies and travellers. We put in a freedom of information request to London's 33 boroughs, which revealed just two of them are building pitches and only six are even looking at the issue. Lewisham is one of them. It currently has no accommodation for travellers after closing their only site three years ago. We've got around 100 traveller families, so even providing five pitches um, you know, provides for five families, but at the moment we do have zero. The time it's taken to find a site kind of reflects the controversy that surrounds having gypsy and traveller sites and wherever it will go you know, it's a very long legal process because if you've got residents who are able to and have got the money they will fund cases to stop this. This proposed traveller site at the bottom of a quiet residential cul-de-sac has caused a ferocious battle between residents and Lewisham Council for the past four years. The main concern is there's going to be, from no traffic at the moment, Church Grove will become a through road, which will mean trucks, lorries, caravans going up and down, we've been told, um, 50 times a, a day. Yeah, that's bang on the nose. There you go, 305. So what we've done here is we've marked out the perimeter of the largest uh, length travelling caravan, which is seven metres, and the vehicle that would have to carry it. It's perilously close to the parked cars. By necessity, to get the caravans up and down, they're going to have to go on the pavement or hit a or scrape a parked car. You come out at the wrong time down your path, then you're going to get hit by something. I understand why the residents would be so upset about this, but I think the wider context is the general public's views towards gypsies and travellers. I haven't come up against the level of hostility towards any single group as I have towards this one. We've been really clear all the way from the very beginning of our campaign that it's not about who we're living next to. We've said we, it's about safety and it's about the access and it's about not doing something really stupid with planning. Unless councils identify suitable sites, travellers and gypsies say that they will be forced to take drastic measures. I'm not going to you know, plan my life around living in a site because I don't think it's going to happen. So I think me, along with many travellers, will eventually probably move into pieces of land and just you know, live on them. But the danger is that buying land without proper planning permission could lead to situations like Dale Farm. This is our house. Private property. As a consequence of the Dale Farm eviction, more local authorities may uh, revert to tough action or tougher uh, and more drastic action in the future. And if they do, then we're going to be chasing gypsies and travellers around the country uh, day in, day out, and that's not going to help anybody. It's clear that this community is prepared to put up a fight for its future generations. Our culture's under threat. We're here. We're not going away. You know, you might think that you've gotten rid of all your gypsies and travellers, but actually, we're not, you know, we're not going to hide our identity anymore. All they have to do is build a site, and then that's all we need. Everyone will be happy.